Welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender 3D tutorial number 2, uh, five, uh, 7 and 5 to get the top view and delete to get remove the cube. Shift A to add a mesh plane. We're looking at from this and now we can look at it from the side view and then R X 90. So we'll rotate the plane in 90 degrees in the X axis. Then scale X3 and then go to edit mode and shift tab and edge mode and select these two W and subdivide four times. And scale that control C. Scale that in the X direction somewhat. We can do that with those two also. Scale X like that. Then grab these two edges, pull them up, and uh, choose vertex mode and continue to pull these up. Take that edge and pull that forward. Shift to edge mode, select that edge. Extrude, forward once, scale, like that. Next step is to, oh wait a minute, control C, and so I want to pull that down a little bit, that is to A, and then control R, roll the mouse wheel to get three cuts, Shift to face mode and Alt Shift right mouse select the faces. Press 3 to look at it from the right. Grab the Y axis arrow and push it out. Go back here and deselect the, that row and 3. And uh, Alt and left mouse button and then alt shift right mouse button three and so shift tab edge mode seven to look at it from the top oh, wait a minute like this seven then choose proportional adding enabled and leave it at this smooth here press the left mouse button and then increase the size of the influence then pull that out like this I'm holding down the left mouse button while I'm doing this and uh, the next thing you want to do is to shift to vertex mode and Control C. Uh, I want to disable the proportional editing. I'll go back to normal editing. And pull these vertices up to form as much of a straight line as possible with the x axis. Now Add a modifier, a mirror modifier, and choose C and deselect X. See how that does. Now I'm just maneuvering. The seven to look at it from the top. A to select everything and move it out just a tad like that. Uh, now I want to. Grab these, pull it up a little bit, and pull it inward just ever so slightly. And then select that loop, push that down a little bit. Select that loop and push that down a little bit. And same for that. I 
select that loop one to see it, look at it from the side, extrude, and scale shift X quite a bit. Control three and uh, move that over like this. And uh, S Y again and like this. Okay, and then we can select this loop and scale that, scale Y. this it's not that pointed but we can fix that later so this is good for now I think I want to make another layer on top here first I want to adjust this in the front so I'm selecting alt right mouse button and extrude and I pick that up move that over and then we'll select this loop actually scale that in the X direction. No, we can do that later uh, when we've uh, actually applied. So tab back to object mode and then um, apply the modifier. Now we have a model that is has both sides and now we can scale this Y, scale Y. So now it will move a little bit more nicely not as much of it. Okay. Control and um, the mouse wheel to move around. Alt, left mouse to maneuver. And we can take these and scale Y a little bit outward. No. Nope. Should be more better there. And uh, Control C to go regret that those were the ones I wanted to scale scale Y like that and uh, select these two and then scale Y try to get it more straight scale Y just straighten this up wait a bit scale Y such a to deselect everything. Look around, see if you're happy with it. Um, one to look at it from the side. Edge mode. One. I can kind of push this upward a little bit. And um, scale it X and push it X a little bit. No. Uh, now I want to do Alt right mouse and Alt right mouse shift. And then W loop tools. This requires and bridge. This requires that you have added the loop tools in the uh, in the add-ons. Okay, let me try to maneuver correctly here, and then just close this up by using just selecting and using the F key.
So now that it's closed up and they're all quads, we can go over to face mode and select all of this. And uh, now we have the opportunity to scale this, scale Y, and make it much more pointed, stern, and then go to edge mode and select this, okay, select this loop here, and scale Y. And you can keep doing this, scale Y, and get it the way you want it. Then we go to the, to the aft and close that up. So now the basic hull is finished. However, we haven't applied a subsurface modifier, which is going to change the game somewhat. We're going to select A to get everything, and then W and shade smooth. And you can see it's too soft in the rear here. If we add the sub subdivision surface modifier, it uh, looks too soft there, so we'll uh, deactivate that for the editing cage. And what I can do now is Control R and uh, push that back. Look at that, and it looks better. And okay, if we're happy with the way things are, then we can do this now here. See if I'm just going to try this. Go into object mode and seven. Looks pretty bulgy, so we can do scale X and uh, stretch it out. And we can do scale, no, scale Z like that. And now I say, well, I'm happy with this. I'm good with this hull and. Um, and then I do control R and get one loop and uh, move that over because when you do this you're going to get all these narrow faces down here so if you're not happy with something and have to adjust something it's going to be difficult to back up control uh, control R no and uh, uh, like this so we'll go over to uh, like this and uh, zero and render. That's the way it looks. So that's all I have time for in this tutorial. I hope it made sense and that you'll be able to do this. And uh, I just want to show you real quickly the user preferences and the um, view see mesh mesh loop tools so we'll go here to mesh and activate loop tools then you'll have the um, bridge function that I showed you back to here. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I thank you for listening and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.